Good morning, guys. So today is a very special day. I'm going to be selling my art at an arts market called First Friday. And First Friday is like the biggest art market that happens on the first Friday of every month. And like thousands and thousands of people from all over Arizona come to see it and come to see me. And it's just really like the best day ever, like the best day of the month because I get to interact with people, everyone's so nice, I get to make money, it's just the best. So I thought I would take you guys with me to see what it's like to be a street vendor artist on First Friday. So let's go get ready. So my approach to makeup, my strategy is just to erase every single defining facial feature that I have and then just draw them all back on again. And unfortunately, my makeup skills have never evolved since like 2016 beauty vlogger youtuber era and that's okay because this is the final look and i'm happy with it <laughs> okay well horrible news is it's windy and i'm pretty sure it's going to rain and the event is outdoors so worst case scenario <laughs> Ah, I'm so nervous. At least I have a tent this time, but the thing with having a tent on a windy day is that the tent acts like a sail. And it could just fly up in the air and just never come back. There needs to be more indoor events because I'm tired of fighting with the weather. This is not fun. Now that my gas tank is painfully full of expensive gas, this is all the stuff that I need to shove into my car and I will be bringing these cinder blocks to weigh everything down because it is a windy day like I said. It's honestly a miracle how I fit everything into my car. Like I had to have a medium sized car but I feel like there's never enough room and I have to play Jenga with my car just to make sure that everything I need fits in there but it fits in there somehow. So we are now at the event site and I had to do a little bit of a time skip because the process of getting to the event is so unbelievably stressful because imagine driving down the freeway, it's Friday 3 p.m. peak rush hour time in a car that is just absolutely filled to the brim <laughs> with all of my crap and it's like, you know, kind of like jostling around every time you uh, <laughs> turn a little bit, every time you merge lanes. Uh, it's a little bit stressful, a little bit dangerous. So I did not want to film it because I didn't want to add to more stress to the situation. So now all I'm doing is putting up all of my merchandise and making sure everything looks organized and aesthetic and appealing to people who are coming by. And I absolutely have the worst resting bitch face whenever, I, <laughs> whenever I'm doing this setup. I'm so stressed out. Like the first two hours of setup is just the most stressful thing ever and it does not need to be. There's a band playing, so I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm all set up. <laughs> so this is what the street that I'm on looks like before any of the people come. Um, but this is like a event that spans like seven blocks of downtown Phoenix. It's really cool. But this is what my booth looks like. It is very pink and pretty, and I'm honestly really proud of all the products that I have and the setup that I've created over the past couple of years. It's so cute. So for the next couple of hours, I stand behind my booth and I talk to people who come by and I swear the people who come up to my booth are the nicest people ever. Everyone is so incredibly nice, it blows my mind. And it just, like I work from home so I don't really get a lot of human interaction, you know? But this really just fills up my cup. Like I love everybody that comes by and I want to be friends with all of you. And when I don't have a customer to talk to, I basically just stand there like a, uh, I'm just a street merchant as NPC, just peddling my wares and facilitating side quests. So this is the end of the night before I pack up. I actually ended up selling out on two different print styles and I did really well there. I sold all of the necklaces except for these five and I sold out on like two rows of earrings. So these are all the earrings that I have left in my stock. And yeah, it was a really successful night. I had a lot of fun and everybody was super cool. So the last thing that I have to do is pack up all my merchandise and go through the daunting tasks of putting everything away. <laughs> So packing up is the easy part. It only takes me maybe 20 or 30 minutes to pack everything back up because obviously I'm 
leaving with less merchandise than I came there with, which is a great thing. Uh, but then I just have to make sure everything is packed in safely. Then I have to fold up all my tables and put up all my displays and then take down my tent, which I never do by myself because there is something humiliating to me about having to fold up this tent by myself. So I always wait for my boyfriend to come and help me. So this is the space that I was at all clean and packed up and here he is with the car and I finally get to go home and my boyfriend is nice enough to always have food waiting for me after I do these long events because I'm always really really exhausted and tired and nothing tastes better than a pepperoni pizza after a long hard day so thanks for watching bye